over the weekend of May 23rd to May 26th, 2007. The leadership of the Association for Experiential Education met in a summit at the YMCA of the Rockies in Estes Park, Colorado. These periodic summits are held in order to build relationships between association leaders and allow opportunity for the board of directors and various councils and committees that make up the association to conduct business and plan their activities for the next several months. The board of directors provided the theme for the summit. Each year, the board decides on an agenda or theme of value to the association which they pursue in order to help the association remain strong and responsive to the needs of its membership and the various publics to which the association is responsive. Board of Directors, the Association staff, and each of the volunteer councils were given an opportunity to introduce their members and responsibilities. Pat is out of compliance with something, then she'll write a report on getting into compliance and that, and, and then we either accept or reject and negotiate that. So the, so the, the nuts and bolts of keeping the association accountable um, in terms of finances and legal um, issues and, uh, and staying on track with the mission are all sort of mechanized things that happen periodically through the year. So that, that's a piece of what we do. Um, probably the more exciting piece for me and uh, more critical piece for the association is that we're consistently looking at how the association is positioning itself to make a difference in the world. And we do that through looking at our end statements. We were happy as can be if we were not the CAC. A CEO I would be. You do this, you do that. After lunch I might be back. You do this, you do that. After lunch I might be back. We're all part of the CAC, we're happy as can be, if we were not a CAC. An accreditation council member I would be. Once your fee check clears, your accreditation nears. You do this, you do that, after lunch I might be back. North, east, north, west, after lunch I might be back. <laughs> we're all part of the CAC. We're happy as can be. We were coming to CAC. A board member I would be. Oh. <laughs> I'd love to start um, by actually having the CRC members stand up a lot, mainly because a lot of the folks are maybe brand new to the First Leadership Summit, brand new to AE or taking leadership positions in their region, so I think it'd be worthwhile to have them stand up and let them know what your job is both in the region and also maybe a new uh, leadership position you take on within the CRC. I mean, I say over and over again that our strength is out there in the membership, and so our regions are obviously a huge strength for us. But the other piece of that are the PGs and the AGs because people need to connect around common professions or goals or interests. And that's different than a geographic thing. So this group is really critical. And they, like I said, they haven't had a chance to meet yet. <laughs> so, but I want them all to introduce themselves and tell us which group you're working with. This year, the board is attempting to ensure that the policies which drive AEE, known as ENDS policies, truly reflect both the interests and needs of our membership and are also in line with the vision and mission statements of the Association for Experiential Education. The board enlisted the help of the leadership in filling out and discussing two different surveys designed to provide information and data to
to help in this process. The Board of Directors is planning on reporting on this research at the annual general meeting in Little Rock in November and plans on making any resulting changes in the ENDS policies at its January meeting. Estes Park is a wonderful venue for this kind of a meeting. Local restaurants are excellent and the cafeteria at the Y can serve 3,000 people at each meal. On Sunday, the Board of Directors, at its own expense, decided to take advantage of the rare opportunity to experience the high country on horseback. The spectacular morning scenery made the rest of the day's meetings much more enjoyable. the city's river walk with its whitewater play spot finished off a highly successful weekend. Mm -hmm.